the red subscribe button right under the video and also the bell icon to get notification on any of our latest updates on our videos. Good day everyone, welcome to Smart Buchard video tutorial on the course statistics. Here we are having a question which says that customers are used to evaluate preliminary product design. In the past, 95% of highly successful products receive good review. 60% of moderately successful products received good review and 10% of poor products received good review. In addition, 40% of products have been highly successful, 35% have been moderately successful and 25% have been poor products. So we are asked to find what is the probability that the product attains a good review. The II part of the question says that if a new design attains a good review, what is the probability that it will be a highly successful? If a product does not attain a good review, what is the probability that it will be a highly successful product? So solution, uh, let's say G to be equal to probability of good, good review and let H be the probability of highly successful highly successful products let m be equal to probability of moderately successful products and let p be equal to probability of poor products so now so now we've actually defined our products as g h m and p from the question let's go to the second paragraph we are told that in addition 40 percent of the products have been highly successful that means probability of highly successful products so probability of highly successful product is equal to 40 percent we are told that 40 percent so and 40 percent is equal to 0 0.4 let's go back again let's check for moderately successful so now we are told that for moderately successful products 35 percent have been moderately successful and 25 percent have been poor products so now we, are, we know that the probability of moderately successful is equal to 35% which is equal to 0 0.35 and for pro, poor product probability of poor product is equal to 25% which is equal to 0 0.25 so now let's go back to the starting of the question we are told that customers are used to evaluate preliminary product design in the past 95% of highly successful product received good review so now we are told that 95% of this product received good review Therefore, we are having probability, this is a conditional probability, which is probability of good review given highly successful products, which is equal to 95%, which is the same thing as 0.95. So now, let's go back to the question again. We are told that 60% of moderately successful receive good review and 10% of poor, poor products receive good review. So now, we have that uh, probability of good review given moderately successful is equal to 60% which is equal to 0 0.6 and probability of good review given all products is equal to 10% which is equal to 0 0.1 so now we have all the parameters that were given so now we are told that what is the probability that the product attains good review so now we are asked the i part we are asked to find the probability of good review so for us to get this it is simple we just have to find probability of good review intersection highly successful plus probability of good review intersection moderately successful product plus the last one which is probability of good review intersection for products so the, uh, the summation of all these probabilities will give us the probability of good review so now from base theorem from base theorem we know that probability of good review given highly successful for example is equal to probability of good review intersection highly successful all over probability of highly successful so we can cross multiply and get probability of good review intersection highly successful is equal to probability of good review given highly successful multiplied by probability of highly successful products so now we can actually substitute this here we can substitute this in this equation and we can also do the same for this and the same for this 
So now instead of writing intersection, we are going to be substituting, we are going to say probability of good review is equal to probability of good review given highly successful multiplied by probability of high successful products plus probability of good review given moderately successful multiplied by probability of moderately successful products plus lastly probability of good review given poor products multiplied by probability of poor products so now we can quickly we have this we have all these parameters in our question you can quickly these are them you can quickly substitute them and get our final answer so substituting all this uh we're having 0 0.95 multiplied by 0 0.4 plus 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.35 plus we're having 0 0.10 multiply by 0 0.25 so if you should multiply this in your calculator and sum it together you are going to get 0 0.615 so this is the probability of good review so now let's go back to our question again we are asked to find if a new design attain a good review what is the probability that it will be highly successful so looking at this question we are asked to find the probability of highly successful giving good review the ii part we are asked to find probability of highly successful giving its good review and this is equal to probability of highly successful intersection good review multiplied by probability of good review we can also substitute this as what we have here which is probability of good review given highly successful multiplied by probability of highly successful which is the intersection i told you earlier so now what we are going to have now is probability of highly successful giving good review will be equal to so we are just going to put 0 0.95 multiply by 0 0.4 all over so probability of good review which is 0 0.615 and our final answer will be 0 0.0.61788 so this is the probability of highly successful giving good review so now uh Lastly, this this uh, the II part of the question: If a product does not attain a good review, what is the probability that it will be highly successful product? So now here, what we are asked to find is we are asked to find the probability that it is highly successful but it is not a good product. Here, what we are asked to find is III. So we are asked to find that what is the probability that it is highly successful but it is not a good product it is not a good product so for us to get this we have to find the probability that it is a good product given that it is highly successful and we have to, we, are, we must find the probability that it is not a good it does not attain a good review so we have to find this for us to get probability that it is a it is highly successful but it is not a good product so now for us to get the probability of not having a good review we have probability of good review which is our probability of good review is so we have the probability of good review to be 0 0.615 so we can quickly subtract one from it we have a probability of not good review is equal to one minus probability of good review so we can quickly subtract one from this 0 0.615 and we are going to so after subtracting one we are going to get probability of not good review which is equal to 0 0.38211 so this is the probability of not good review so actually this is what we are actually looking for probability of highly successful not giving good review and this is equal to probability of h intersection not good review all over probability of not good review so you can see uh, we have to look for probability of not good review and we have actually looked for it so for us to get this now that is why i said we have to look for probability of uh, not good review given h for us to get the intersection so we know that uh, probability of h intersection uh, g prime is still the same thing as probability of g prime intersection h so we can actually look for probability of uh, good review, not good review, giving H 
which is equal to probability of not good review intersection h all over probability of h so now we can cross multiply and get probability of uh, not good review intersection h to be equal to probability of not good review given h multiplied by probability of uh, highly successful so now we have probability of g given h probability of good review given highly successful so now we can actually sub subtract it from one for us to get probability of not good review given h so probability of not good review given h is now equal to one minus probability of g given h and this is equal to one minus probability of g given h is, is 0 0.95 and if you subtract this you are going to get 0 0.05 so now you see we have probability of this since this is equal to this so they are both the same so now we are going to substitute this at the top so now going back to our what we are actually finding so we are having probability of h given not given not good review is now equal to instead of putting h intersection good review so now we are going to put this and this expression since they are all the same thing so now we are going to put probability of g not good review given h multiplied by probability of highly successful so now multiply by probability of not good review so now we have all our parameters we can quickly get our final answer so now we have probability of not good review given h is equal to 0 0.05 multiplied by probability of highly successful which is being given from the question probability of highly successful which is 0 0.4 multiply by 0, 0 0.4 divide by probability of not good review which is which which was the one we calculated earlier which is 0 0.38211 0. 0 0.38211 so now we can uh, if you calculate this on your calculator you are going to get your final answer which is equal to 0 0.0.0523 so this is the final answer i hope you understand what i've just explained here if you don't i recommend you watching the video again so now we have actually released a lot of video on statistics you can check our website uh which is on the link on the description of the video and if you're actually watching it from our website it is very good you see a lot of videos on our on our page for us to keep uh, for us to keep updating you on video so that you can get alerts kindly subscribe to our youtube channel it is free you don't have to pay for anything it is just free just click on the subscribe button uh thank you very much for watching this video we'll meet in our next class where we'll be solving more questions on statistics